Okay, so we're going to talk about using alphas to actually create sculpture detail, uh, such as pores, um, freckles, warts, and all that jazz. We're going to be using alphas to generate that level of detail. And uh, we have um, three options uh, for our alphas. We can use the uh, default alphas that we have in ZBrush. So if I click on my alphas button, you will notice that these are all the alphas that come with ZBrush right our second option is to go to pixel logic so if I go to my Firefox and I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna go to pixel logic that's the company that makes uh, ZBrush and I'm gonna go to their main site so you can see how to get to the uh, download center and we're gonna go to support download center they have a alpha library button from the just added section to industrial to skins all right so once you click one of these alphas for example uh, let's pick this vein right here you have to scroll to the top and you will have the ability to download this file okay so if I click on download and here's my file right here and I want you to notice what this file is made out of it's pretty much a square shape right here right if I go to image image size it will tell me the dimensions so this is 309 pixels which in inches it will be 4.292 and in centimeters is going to be 10.9 and the resolution is 72 dpi all right so if I save this file, for example, and I load it in ZBrush, let me close this and go back to ZBrush. I'm gonna create a sphere real quick. I'm gonna hit T, then F, and I'm gonna convert it into a poly mesh because this is one of the primitives. Right, so now I can sculpt as you can see. I'm going to subdivide it quite a few times and I'm going to select my alpha right I can select one of the generic alphas from ZBrush I'm going to switch my stroke to that of drag rectangle and for my brush I'm going to select the standard brush and the size of your alpha has to do with the size of your brush all right so as soon as I click and drag this is what I'm gonna get let me get rid of the lazy mouse and if I go into a C up okay I will go inwards and as you can see going back to our alpha the reason why this shape fades towards the edge it was the same reason as in the alpha that we downloaded as you can see right here your images will fade towards the end so when I show you how to create your own ZBrush this will make more sense let's go back to ZBrush now I'm gonna load that newly downloaded veins alpha from the download center of pixel logic I'm gonna go to alphas and I'm gonna go to import and as you can see now our alpha has been loaded all right so if I click and drag using the drag rectangle this is what I get all right the intensity of the alpha is controlled with the Z intensity and if I want to go in the opposite direction instead of pushing in pulling out I can either leave the brush the way it is and use the alt key or I can switch to Z add and this is how we create detail using an alpha that we download now let's talk about our third option which is creating our own alphas I'm gonna go back to Photoshop and as you can see in Photoshop I've created a file with the same dimensions as the vein alpha that we downloaded from the download center of pixel logic and 
my background is white and I created a new layer with a circle right that goes from transparency to solid black on the edges and this is what I'm going to use to mask the texture that I'm going to put below between the background and let's call this one the mask layer the last thing that I did to this file is I went to image and under mode I converted it into a grayscale that way whatever color image I paste between background and mask will be automatically converted into a black and white image so if I go to my web browser and I found this very interesting texture from a sea animal I'm gonna copy this image so I'm gonna click on the background layer I'm gonna go to edit paste right and really quickly I'm able to create a very fascinating looking texture alright because it's between the mask and the background I can move it around to find that exact texture that I'm looking for something good but with no imperfections very generic very vanilla and once I'm happy with it I'm gonna flatten this file by selecting all the layers and going to either merge layers or merge visible or flatten image that's completely up to you I like using merge layers and I'm gonna save a copy so I'm gonna go to save as I'm going to import that newly created alpha by clicking here on import and as you can see it loaded right here I'm gonna select that and with the drag rectangle tool all right I'm gonna lower the intensity and I'm gonna give it a test and we've created our own texture based on a photograph and as you can see our alpha fades towards the edge so I can always go back and add more of this texture towards the edge and if you plan ahead you've created a very interesting texture that can be used to sculpt our high frequency details onto our objects and never hesitate to experiment with the opposite direction so for example right now we are using Z add so if I want to use Z sub right I would hold the alt key and see how now my texture would be the opposite so I generate something that looks like uh, leather a close-up of leather it could be a pigskin American football ball or something for leather couch or even the skin of the legs of an emu or some um, alien and this is how we create our own alphas to detail textures during our high frequency stage of our sculpt.